I'm going to tell you from the outset, some of you won't like this video. <laughs> we all have our own rules and some of us have more than others. Today's video is specifically about how to shoot black and white images directly in your camera. There are other ways to do black and white, like taking a color image and converting it in your editing software. And I'll be showing you that as well in a few days. Today is all about the camera, capturing black and white in camera and the pros and cons of it. First, what am I talking about? <laughs> I'm talking about clicking your shutter and the file saved on the memory card in your digital camera is in black and white, void of any color information whatsoever. Some cameras used to have a very simple black and white mode, but things are getting better and better for black and white photographers. Let's look at the choices on one of my Canons and one of my Nikons, the T4i and the D800. Starting with the Canon Rebel T4i. Before we go to the menu on the T4i, you can only do this in certain modes. Some of your auto and scene modes won't allow you to shoot black and white in camera. This will be the case with many cameras. You can check your camera's manual if you really wanna use a certain scene mode. You can, however, most definitely shoot black and white in your creative zone modes, P, A, S, and M. That's what I'm gonna show you right now. So if you head to the shooting two menu, you can find picture style. After I highlight monochrome, I can press the info button to customize my monochrome look. I can increase or decrease sharpness and contrast. Then in filter effects, do you want a colored filter like yellow, which is often great for black and white portraits? Or do you want a toning effect like sepia? Or do you wanna go wild with cyanotype even? Moving on to the Nikon D800. Here you want your picture control. You can find it in your shooting menu. Just like with the Canon, you'll choose monochrome and can customize the look. On this camera, we have similar options, sharpening, contrast, brightness, and then filter effects and toning. I do have further options to adjust the toning or even get more colors. Now when you're shooting, you'll still be seeing your actual color scene through your viewfinder. You can, however, often use live view mode to see what your scene looks like prior to shooting. However, I don't like to shoot that way very often. I like the viewfinder. <laughs> That's why I really like shooting black and white on my V1 here. This camera is unusual because it has a digital viewfinder, meaning that when I'm shooting in black and white mode, the image I see in the viewfinder is black and white. That's way cool and takes classic black and white photography to an entirely new level. Now, if you want, you can hedge your bets. On many cameras, you can shoot RAW and JPEG at the same time. The RAW file will retain the color information while the JPEG file will be in black and white. This is a solid way to come away with your black and white image while having your raw image as insurance in case the image is also a stunning color image. Do you know what I do? I don't hedge my bets. When I'm shooting for black and white, I do the same thing that you'd do with black and white film. I really, really shoot in black and white, meaning I shoot black and white JPEG. Don't get me wrong. I'm no stranger to taking a raw image, doing a fancy conversion and producing something that I'm happy with. But when I'm shooting for black and white, I'm usually set for black and white in camera. That means when I have a black and white image from a shoot like this, there are no do-overs where I can have the image in color. Am I telling you to do that? <laughs> Not at all. You can do whatever you'd like. I'm telling you what your options are and what I do. I find that when I'm shooting for black and white, I'm composing differently and even the setting the camera differently. I'm not hesitant to go to higher ISO settings that I might normally go, knowing that I'll get grain, but no color noise. I'm not going for ultimate sharpness either. I'm going for a mood. What mood? It depends on the shot. But for me, strong moods and black and white go hand in hand. Okay, that's what I do. What do you do? Do you ever shoot black and white? And if so, do you do it in camera or do you use your editing software? Let me know in the comments. 